Hi everybody, Cindy the Scrapologist here. Welcome back to my channel if you're a current subscriber and if you're new here, thank you so much for checking me out. I have a lot of cool things planned for 2020, some really original projects scheduled to do tutorials on and ideas to share, so please hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss anything. Today is a very stormy day in Maine. We um, it's one of those storms that started out as snow, and then right now it's pouring rain, but it's ice. So it's pouring ice from the sky. That's freezing on top of the snow. And then tonight we're going to get two to four more inches, and tomorrow we're going to get up to eight more inches. It's just an absolute mess. It's one of those days if you don't have to go out, you don't. So I am snuggled up in my warm sweater with my hot tea in my studio, <laughs> just where I like to be anyway. And I have my mood ring on, which is black today. Don't know what that means. I think it just means that I'm cold. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, be doing every once in a while something that people call pinspiration. Uh, I have a lot of things on my Pinterest board that, um, boards, that inspire me. And I want to try to make some of them because oftentimes the there's a pin and but there's no instructions on how they made it so you kind of have to look at the picture and figure it out so um, I'm gonna be doing some pinspiration projects with you all here and there scattered throughout the year this is one pin that I really liked I printed it out I like these little tags and I like the way that they're they're um, hooked on to the lace with these little bulb pins. So I'm going to make some of those today. Whenever I can, I am definitely going to give credit where credit is due and put the link below to where I found this. But on this particular one, the Pinterest pin linked to Tumblr and it didn't link to anybody's name. So I don't know whose idea this was. I'm sorry if any of you have seen this anywhere else and you know whose idea this is, please put a comment below. But whenever possible, we, we always need to give credit when we're, when we're getting inspiration from somebody else's idea. It's just the right thing to do in this community, and I think most people do that anyway. So for this one, I'm sorry if you are the originator of this. I don't know who you are, and I don't know where this came from. So all you need, oh, and there's a freebie included in this too that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in a little bit. So all you need, these look really simple to make. Um, you need a circle punch or the ability to make circles. If you don't have a circle punch, just find something round, um, whatever, and, you know, trace around it. You don't, you don't have to have any fancy equipment for these. Um, you need some scrapbook paper, uh, uh, you need some words, you can sew around if you want, and you need some type of pin and some lace, and decide what kind of pocket or journal card or tag that you are going to hang these on, or maybe you're just going to keep them in your stash and, and use them when you have a project. So what I've done for you let me set that aside, is um, for your freebie, this is over on my Facebook page at The Scrapologist. I'll put the link below. And these are some sample words that fit. My punch is one and a half inches. And hang on, let me fix this focus. Sorry, hold on. Okay, it's not going to autofocus if I put anything up close, but um, some people were are starting to get a little seasick from my camera doing that, so just turn the autofocus off. Anyway, my punch is um, makes creates a circle that is one and a half inches wide, so what I did was I created a table here, and each of these squares is one inch by one inch, and this is a, a Word document, so you will be able to modify it. You can change the font. You can change the color. I did some in, you know, it's not really showing, but these are in black and this is brown. So, but you could, with your Word program, you can change it to red, 
purple, whatever you want. And I left some squares for you to type in your own words. The um, I did the words from the Pinspiration, Wish, Hope, and Believe. And then... Um, Uh, the Bible is very, very important in my life. And I have this card, this journal card that I came across from Colossians. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So I put those words on here too. And can you just imagine if all of all, our political leaders had just these qualities alone. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> but um, just I was thinking about qualities that I like in people and qualities that I wish I sh saw more of in our in our leaders. Or in anyway, um, these are words that are meaningful to me, and hopefully you'll find some words on here too that mean something to you. I also have some crafty words here, and some love words: sweet and love, and serenity, grace. Um, solace. Sometimes um, solace is very important to me. Sometimes I just need my own quiet time up in my studio. No music, nothing on. Just just a peaceful, quiet environment where I can reflect on my week or my day or whatever. So this is going to be a freebie on the Scrapologist Facebook page. You, I think you would have to be a I think you would have to like my page to get this. I'm not sure how that works, but but that's where this will be, and I'll put the link below. And I have some bulb pins here. These, I think, well, see, I turned off the automatic focus. Let me turn it back on. Hold on. Okay, let's see if it'll work now. Nope, not going to work. Oh, maybe you can see that. I think I got these at Alley. Oh, there we go. See, I'm I can't hold my hand perfectly still. I think I got these at AliExpress. They were really super inexpensive, and there's the order that number there that it keeps kind of flickering in and out. And I just have some scrap paper here, and I decided to do my little project on one of my library cards that I like to make. And I have some, you have to have some kind of trim that will accommodate the the bulb pins that you can put the bulb pin through. So I have a little bit of lace here. And that's really all you need. So I'm not really going to do a tutorial on the library card. You might want to be putting this on a tag, like I said, or a journal card. But the library card, I'll just tell you briefly how I make it. It's um, four and a half by four. And it's just two pieces of craft paper that I've sewn on and put tape up the edges. And before I do this, I use my glue stick and I put vintage book pages on top of it. So this is what I'm going to use. And some scrap, scrap paper. So let's just make probably only two circles will fit on that. So let me cut out a couple of circles. Oh, I kind of wish I hadn't cut that. That's pretty. I think I had that, that saved as a, for a tag, but I didn't see it because it was upside down. Oh well. Let me use this piece. Okay. And I do like to ink the edges. I'm not sure which side I want to use yet. Probably the other side. I don't want two words. Probably use that side. I'm just using vintage photo, which is always just right next to me on my desk. And nine times out of ten, I leave the studio and forget to put the cover on, and then it dries out, and then I have to re re ink it. <laughs> okay, so let's look at our little picture here, our pinspiration picture. Okay, so it looks like under the uh, under the word, oops, sorry guys, 
it looks like under the word they have some scrap paper, um, book page paper. And I actually don't want to use book page paper because I just, like I said, I don't want writing on this. I just want the one word. So I'm going to look at my scraps here and I am going to use some sewing pattern paper. I think that'll look really nice underneath it, especially inked up. But I think any kind of tissue paper will look really nice because that way you can, it'll, you'll still be able to sort of see the design underneath, but it'll give it a little texture. So I'm just going to tear off a little bit of this. This is in my little junk journal scraps bag. And pull out my glue stick. Oops. My glue stick's getting a little dry. I don't know if it'll... There we go. So this is our first kind of official storm of the season, which is unbelievable to go until January. We hardly had any snow on the ground. It's been a super nice winter. In Maine, they say, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. <laughs> And that's this kind of storm. A little mishmash of everything. But it always makes me want to nest. It wants me to makes me want to snuggle up in my jammies with my husband and my dog and put something in the crock pot so the house smells good, light a candle, sip my tea. Today I've got um this is apple cinnamon chai. Super good. And I'm just going to ink up the paper just a little bit. Okay. I can put this away. I keep that right at the top of my desk just to remind me what kind of qualities I'm trying to achieve. I'm not always good with the patience one. That's one, one I'm working on. I'm really, really working on that one. I've never been good at that. Okay. I'm going to cut this part off because that's folded under. It needs to be ironed. And I don't want to pull my iron out right now. So I'll just cut that off. And then I have a little, uh, I think I've showed this to you before. I have a little scrap of textiles. I mean a little bin of textiles. It's one of those ones made out of laundry rope that a girlfriend made for me and I, I use these when I'm junk journaling or making tags or whatever. So I just threw it in there and then measure this out. I think I'll put it across the top. And that can go away. You know me. I organize as I go. <laughs> and I think I'll just put a little dab of glue, Fabri-Tac, on this. The storm started yesterday, and not many people were out and about, but I'm very experienced driving in snow, so it didn't bother me, so I went to the antique store, and I was really getting cabin fever. I knew I was going to be shut in for the next couple of days, so I went to the antique store, and um, I was the only one there. I had the whole place to myself, and I found a big bag of jewelry. I didn't find any ephemera, but there's some pretty stuff in here. These are, this necklace is really pretty. These are all um, di different shells. So mom and I are probably going to have a glass of wine together this evening. 
and she she lives right next door and start cutting these apart and making charms out of these which will be super fun oh and speaking of charms there were two charm bracelets in here see I couldn't really open it up and I was so excited this looks just like my little doggy it's a little um, porcelain Maltese <laughs> and a doggy bone a fire hydrant there's a little there's a little doggy dish a little dog house there's a little ball really cute so, and a dog collar and so somebody somebody really loved their doggy I thought this was awfully cute and then there was another um, a li another charm bracelet in here and charm bracelets are a great find because you can cut these off and use them for for charms for your um, junk journals or closures put them on closures for your for your books so I was kind of excited about that okay the two let's see so this will look nice I think two is good and I don't want to put them completely centered like that remember the rule of thirds that I showed you in one of my other videos so these are going to be off center and I think I'm just going to use the first two words here and I'm going to try I'm going to attempt to tear these I printed these on um, I'm going to attempt to tear them but neatly I don't want them I want them to kind of be square um, I printed these out on a heavier weight cardstock but you don't have to just regular printer paper would be fine get that line off of there okay oops I messed up the word hope let's say let's use the next word no. yeah believe these words are all different sizes by the way uh, different size fonts because I wanted them to fit nicely in the one inch square I'm gonna have to trim this up just a little okay This was my first attempt, and then I realized, nope, we gotta, we need to make one-inch boxes for everybody. Okay, and then ink these up. And on here they did sew around each word so these are a little tiny but I'm going to try to do that and I'll be right back okay so I was able to to sew but I think what's easier what's going to be easier is to um, sew them and then tear them because I my tear here is wonky and so part of it doesn't have sewing on it so if you if you sew a box around the word first and then tear your paper I think it's gonna be easier why do I have these big giant scissors today easier <laughs> to use these okay and so we also need a little hole to put our bulb pin through just using a regular hole punch here okay oops let me move this out of the way now and let's glue these on
My decorated library pockets, by the way, are my <laughs> number one seller. I must make 50 of these a week, 50 to 100 of these a week. <laughs> They're fun to make. Okay, there we go. And then, let me, I think these need a little more ink. Oops. I put this believe on there really wonky compared to where the hole is. I wanna, there we go. I want it to be more straight like that. Okay. But this needs way more ink for me. I'm trying to make them look a little vintagey today. I don't get in a bright mood, mood for bright colors until the spring. Okay. Take two of our bulb pins. Let me throw all this stuff away. Clean as you go if you don't want a mess. <laughs> Do I sound like your mother? <laughs> I just have this little Ziploc baggie that I keep in my sewing machine drawer that has all kinds of different pins and stuff. I have glue all over me. Mood ring's still black. Uh-oh. Oops, got to put it through here first. Doi! So hopefully you don't mind me crafting in partial silence. I'm just not feeling super talkative today. Just feeling calm and relaxed. Happy to be in my craft room, craft studio. There. Probably could have fit three on here. I don't know if I like them staggered like that. I think I'll move this one up to be sort of even with that one. There we go. And then let me make a little tag for my pocket here. Oh, here it is. I like that. I think I will make one more for here. I think it'll look pretty with three. Because they're kind of overlapping, but I like that. So there we go. There's Pinspiration number one. And like I said, if any of you know where this came from, put the link below for me, please. I would appreciate that. So that's about it for today. Um, remember the link below for the freebie. I is the Scrapologist on Facebook. This is a Word document, so anybody, you should be able to print it and, and use it very easily and modify it. Just don't modify it and sell it. That's all I ask. And um, that's about it today. I hope that you're having a um, very nice day, as nice as the day I'm having today, although without the weather. <laughs> and I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.